Samara Riviera here with Miss Jenny Boylan, Hi. Diva Alert. <laughs> How are you? Good, and you? Fantastic. How does that feel, being back here at the GLAAD Awards? A lot more representation of the trans community now. Because when I started with GLAAD, I was a volunteer like almost nine, ten years ago or whatever. There was like yeah. zero. I'm glad you noticed that because as a board member for the last seven years and as chair of the board for the last four, um, opening this organization to trans representation and to the work that needs to be done to protect transgender people was one of my top priorities. So it's now about somewhere between 40 and 50 percent of our work is trans uh, oriented and there's a lot more work to be done. Oh yeah, no, absolutely. So you can thank me. Yes, thank you, thank you. <laughs> and and uh, Sarah Kate Ellis, our wonderful CEO. Sarah K. Ellis, she just passed by. Yeah, good. Yeah, she's great. So tell us any new projects, what's going on? I have a brand new novel, Long Black Veil, which was just published by Random House. It's a mystery of suspense, but people who are interested in issues of identity might find things in this novel that will appeal to them. It begins on a hot day in, a, in the summer of 1980 when a group of friends get themselves accidentally locked inside an abandoned prison and then just as quickly find that they are not alone. So it's, it's above all, it's a great mystery. It's a novel of suspense. And um, I think people who are fans of my work will find plenty of familiar themes that they'll enjoy in that, or in that work. Long Black Veil. Ooh, I like it. Where can people find it? Well, you can find it in bookstores across the country and um, uh, in your online booksellers, Amazon and barnesandnoble.com and all of your great independent bookstores across the country. It's also available as an audio book from Penguin Random House Audio, which I read. So check it out. Awesome. Thank you so much, lady. Good to see you.